Hey pros, we're back here and I'm going to show you how to install Moke Creatures in a server. So all your buddies could get in there with you. Alright, so let's get started here. This install is for a 1.2.5 server. So the first thing we're going to do is you have to own Minecraft to get into a server first thing, okay? If you don't own it, it's not going to work. So first thing you're going to do is go to minecraft.net and go to your downloads in here. And you're going to see the regular Minecraft, as you can see right here. And the server right here. What you don't, what you don't want, what do you want is this one. See this says Minecraft slash server dot jar. That's the one you want. You're gonna right you're gonna left click it and down here you're going to save and download to your desktop. Okay? Make sure you push your desktop. I'm not gonna do it because I already did it. And bang, you're gonna have it right sitting right here on your desktop like I did second thing you're gonna do is download Minecraft Forge for server okay this is all for 1.2.5 and then you're gonna download on the web page of Mo Creatures you're gonna see a beta for a server download for 1.2.5 3.6.2 you're gonna see right there so first thing you're going to do is right click your desktop, go to new, open a folder, and you're going to call it Mo Creatures. Right? Server. Now, you're going to open that up and you're going to see that's nothing in there. It's a brand new folder. And you're going to grab your server and pop it in there like I just did and you're gonna run it okay now to have the server working properly you have to have at least minimum at least one gig for your server okay now if you're gonna have your friends coming in and plus you if you're gonna mod it you need a little bit more gigs to run it clearly without no breaking or anything like that so let's run this and you're gonna see it's building the server you might get it at the first time you try this you might have to um, allow if you have a firewall or something it might ask you to for permission so you just allow it okay it's you making a server so let's down here after it renders and it stops counting and it builds the world you're gonna come down to here and press and type in stop the server and now what it's doing is just stopping your server and saving whatever it rendered so now you're gonna see in your folder all these little files just popped up as you can see so now you're gonna come to your minecraft server and you're going to right click it and open it up with WinRAR or 7-Zip like so. Now, you're going to open up your Minecraft Forge server. And you're going to left click it, select all, and bring it right over into your class files of the server. And let go. And press OK. X out of that. Now you're going to go to... The your mo creatures do the same thing. You're gonna left click it, right click it, and select all. Grab it all and swing it right into your class file and let go. Now, now this should, first thing you're gonna do is come up to your world right here and delete it. Because you're gonna render a new world. Okay, so 
Now you come to your Minecraft server right here where it says server and left click it twice. And it'll start up your world again. And as you can see, if you look in here, it just loaded. Let me show. It's still loading. Okay. It stopped loading. Now, if you scroll up and start seeing, okay, base mod, it just loaded mo creatures. Uh, it's starting the server. It sees that is a mod in there. It loaded the mod. Uh, Minecraft Forge is still completing it completed the Minecraft Forge and then comes down and says whoop we just see mo creatures boom it just start loading mo creatures and Minecraft Forge and it's complete then it starts building the world you're gonna see if you start throwing mods in here you're gonna see that your list of mods will be right here all right, so then it just, now the mod is, you can see the server is running, okay? So, let me join my server. So, I'm going to go into my Minecraft, open it up. Now, the Minecraft has to have mo creatures. Whoever is going into the server that you just built has to have mo creatures installed properly. If not, it's they won't be allowed into your server, no matter what. And make sure when you do go into your server, do not, do not delete your meta inf. The server needs the meta inf, no matter what. Okay, in your server, in your client, it's different. So now let's go into multiplayer, as you can see. I'm going to go into direct link, like a local host, because I am hosting, and join the server, and I'm in, into my server. Hey sheep, have you seen any alligators or anything? It looks like a frozen tundra here, but we're going to take a peek around. Let's take a walk around. Maybe I don't see anything. Do you guys see anything? Sheep, do you see anything? See any mo creatures anywhere? Shut up, sheep. I'm always looking for you. When I'm looking for you, never find. I never find you guys. Now, you guys are here. God. Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. I don't see anything. You guys see anything? What? Well, there goes the ocean. That's the best bet. Go towards the ocean. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the grass. How come I spawned here? In the middle of the frozen tundra. Alright. There goes the ocean. And from here, I see a manta ray already. And there are sharks. Hey, shark. And there's dolphins swimming. The shark is a little pissed off that I hit him. Shit! Alright, guys. That's it. There you go. <laughs> If you follow directions, everybody, pros, viewers, everybody else, so it should work. No problem. Don't forget to leave me a like. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. This is Diggy Man from the Venture Pros, and I'm out. Love you guys. Leave me a like. Mwah, 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 mwah.